Greetings everybody, this is Sabin Dimitrov, aka Dins for the Astro Wolf, and it is a pleasure to have you guys uh, here uh, with me uh, on, my, uh, on, on my video. So, there is a really cool update that I want to tell you guys about, and I'm still very uh, skeptical about it, but I'm hoping that this will be worth it. Everybody is telling me that this will be worth it, but... I'm still very skeptical about it, and it kind of makes me a little uneasy, but, you know, uh, hopefully this will work out. Um, so, first things first, uh, uh, once this, uh, oh, cool, we got a victory report. Cool. So, uh, pretty much, uh, the game... Uh, the developers had to fix an issue, and I was able to receive a special, uh, reward of a thousand gold and ten, uh, Aether energy, and that was able to give me all the way to 93, uh, Aether energies, and if we go to next month, we have Dragon Slayer medals, which are all ready for me to purchase. Now, as far as I know, you can only purchase one of them. You can't purchase multiples of them. As you guys can see, it's a zero out of one. So we're just going to have to be stuck with that. But the great news is that uh, in 22 days, I think that's how much there was left. Uh, I will be able to get this to maybe level 23 or even level 24. Because uh, 54 divided by 60, which is about how much it takes for each brain plug-in. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54. I think you only get 8, which is unfortunate. So, I'm, so we, uh, we, uh, this, we will, this will take a considerable amount of time to get more medals for Shockwave. But we are going to be well on our way to make uh, Vega an absolutely horrifying person to deal with like i said he's my nuclear bomb vega because if all of his attacks uh reign right and true we're gonna just demolish the enemy and we are going to be one of the most horrible people to deal with on galactic campaign now here is the update that i'm very skeptical about but people have told me that this is very much worth it uh so as you guys can see there is something different about my skills. Can you guess what it is? Menderbot. I have taken absolute defense off of Rogers and uh, placed Menderbot on him. So now, uh, even though it's only level 7, we have a 3.5% uh, lost units for all of our troops at the end of the round. Uh, that can be uh, recovered. And 66% chance is still pretty good. And uh, that means our uh, abilities will be able to uh, um, protect um, our commander. Um, and uh, having Menderbot at level 30 is going to be very useful. And... Uh, I think 15% of my soldiers recu uh, recovered. It's not the best, but it's still something that will not be affected by Steam Cannon. And Steam Cannon is what um, uh, can cut through certain abilities. And uh, there's certain skills that, will not, that can be cleared, but Menderbot itself cannot be cleared or blocked. So if my commander survives, he will be able to heal his soldiers and uh, get himself back up and running. And then uh, for Orochi, I put absolute defense on him. And I only lost two levels. So I only had to, had to get two of those uh, uh, packs that had the absolute defense. And uh, so that's a really, really good thing. So now we have Menderbot level 60. So not only is is uh, Orochi going to be able to heal 30% of his soldiers that he's lost. But on top of that, uh, 
he's also going to be able to have an incredible amount of defense. And that's going to be extremely useful for that. And then on top of that, the corrosive armor is also going to be able to protect us. Um, and we are going to be able to uh, um, strengthen our soldiers um, against heavy attacks. So we're going to have one commander, which is pretty much a porcupine. And we're going to have another commander that is going to be able to self-heal. And make himself even more annoying to deal with. Because Tyrant Cometh is going to be able... No, not Tyrant Cometh. Uh, defensive Stance is going to be able to get us to 90%... Uh, uh, complete damage reduction in only three uh, three rounds. And, uh, and uh, this one has a high, uh, a high uh, chance of being activated. And then on top of that... Uh, we're going to be able to heal as well. So, and the thing, the, the nice thing about this is that Menderbot can heal soldiers even if you don't take damage. So, like, let's say Rogers loses, you know, a small amount of soldiers on the first few rounds, but then he makes himself invincible with the, with the defensive stance. Then that means, uh... He can continue to heal his soldiers with Menderbot every time this happens. <laughs> and uh, if I re and I'm if I remember right, um, I think it's three point five percent recovery for every slot. So I think uh, every so I think it'd be like uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. It's uh, interesting. I, I I don't exactly know how Menderbot overlays because even one robot can help you uh, heal. So maybe it's three point five times six if you manage to get six uh, activations of this. But uh, yeah, it's actually actually really really cool. So that makes it uh, so that way we can actually. Uh, uh, Make it so that way Rogers is a lot more annoying to deal with. So that's the really cool, uh, uh, the really cool, um, uh, update I, want, I wanted to tell you guys about. And like I said, we, we are going to keep, uh, what's her name, uh, Dragon Slayer. Because Dragon Slayer does a really good job. And with the, uh, destructive power, that will allow her to be able to really, uh, wall up the enemy. And I want to try to get destructive power power to level thirty because even if she misses, that's still going to hurt the enemy quite a lot. And uh, yeah, so that makes me very very happy with how well that uh, seems to be working. Um, I'm still going to be working on uh, 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 Sister Wolf, but uh, so far she's doing great. I'm very happy with uh, how well she's holding up. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, um, we can uh, be able to uh, make her very useful against Rian Hardens. And uh, uh, Orochi is going to be able to defend himself very well against uh, Rian Hardens. Because he's a great counter for them since he himself can heal. As well as have the armor that hurts um, enemies. And then uh, Rogers is going to be able to heal himself as well, and that will hurt enemies uh, as well. And he also has Cephas Majesty. No, he doesn't have Cephas Majesty. He has Scorpio. Well, oh, he does have Cephas Majesty, and we're trying to get Lia Gemini. And Cephas Majesty makes it so that way the enemy cannot heal in that area where they uh, are hit. And uh, as you guys see... I'm trying to get, you know, two full sets of this for my commanders. But like it is, uh, Orochi is able to also be an attack commander, which is actually really surprising. So you can uh, run that uh, penetration build on him. And like it is, guys, I want to be able to get myself a, uh, um, the, Al the uh, Aldebaran. And the Aldebaran is a really cool weapon because you get penetration. And because uh, these commanders don't have breakdown, penetration is going to be crucial for our uh, effectiveness at being able to really hurt the enemy. 
And then we also have the health points. And the health points is really nice because that means our soldiers can be very meaty when the enemy tries to hit us. And then the uh, total critical wither, that means all of our soldiers are going to be able to uh, negate 30% uh, critical damage to our soldiers. So we are going to be able to turn ourselves into a really nasty uh, stack of soldiers. And I want to try to um, add this to Orochi because that way he can be both attack and defense. Because as you guys can see right now, go away. Uh, we have a thing called uh, the Assault Shield. And it has attack and health points and defense, but it doesn't have the penetration. So that means commanders can negate all of our attacks, which is very frustrating. So, if we manage to get the Aldebaran, that means we can have the health points, which is a crucial part. We have the penetration, which means our attacks are a lot more useful. And then we have the, uh, uh, the critical wither, which is sometimes more effective than defense because the critical weather um, a lot of people try to run high critical builds so being able to have that critical weather is really useful and then i can run either health points or defense gems on my commanders i usually like health points because that makes our um, our soldiers a lot harder to kill because like i told you guys before um uh, uh, the more health points your soldiers have, the harder it is for enemies to actually one-shot them because, you know, they just have obscene amounts of health. But when I, uh, when uh, my friend, Ar I think it was Architect, told me about this uh, loadout, we have 50% damage reduction, and you also have penetration built into your... Uh, your uh, your stuff and then on top of that you know we have you know basic health points we have more health points here we have some defense so yeah like uh this can actually uh run a solid uh build and uh that can make both rogers or orochi more useful so that is why i'm trying to get the aldebaran as quickly as possible and i'm very happy to to show you guys that uh this is the Aldebaran. We have 67 of these. So we actually have enough equipment for two Aldebarans. And I want to be able to have one Aldebaran on uh, Rogers and one Aldebaran on uh, Orochi. And then, uh, but that means I'm going to have to work very hard on, on focusing only on the Aldebaran. Which is annoying because, like I said, the... Uh, unfortunately, the uh, game developers had a really cool pack set up for that, and I realized too late that the Aldebaran is perfect for defense commanders, so I'm a little pissed off about that. But we have 16, 69 Beetlejuice, uh, 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 freaking, uh, uh, blueprints, and we have 42 Antares. And we only need one more Beetlejuice, and we need only one more Antares. And then let's see if we can possibly get four Aldebarans, because that'll be perfect for my commanders. And, uh, you know, if we can actually uh, be able to, uh, you know, build a solid uh, uh, run with our stuff, that means we're actually going to be able to hurt the enemy substantially. And, uh, yeah, so I'm very, very happy with how well this is going. And, um, I want to show you guys that we actually have five out of six eternal barriers. We have four out of, uh, out of the two needed, uh, uh, freaking, uh, assault shields. And then we also have, uh... Let's see, uh, let's, uh, weapon, uh, go away, here we are, and then we also have a wild rose that we can take from, uh, Sister Wolf, 
and use that for the second Aldebaran. And hopefully by that time we will have the chance to get another Wild Rose in the meantime so we won't have to use, uh, what's her name's, uh, uh, Sister Wolf's, uh, Wild Rose. And then, uh, like I told you guys, for the, uh, for the Antares, we already have everything that we need for the Antares. So that's going to be very, very useful for us. So we, all we just need is to get the blueprints. And then for the, uh, um, for the Beetlejuice, which is really, really nice, um, I need to get one more Speed of God. I need to get one Fearless, and then we should be set. So... Unfortunately, I don't think we have, uh, no, this, oh, we do have a fearless. Okay, so we can actually, uh, extract this from, uh, extract this from, uh, uh, Dragon Slayer if we absolutely have to, and then we can get a, uh, a speed of God for, uh, the rest of the thing. Because we, we need two Speed of Gods, and uh, we can usually get those from events like this. Uh, hmm. Yep, not this one. Uh, it's the other one. This one. Which means that we can get, uh, not the Phantom. Uh, there we are, the Speed of God, which is a 24,000 uh, shiny metal thing. And then we can also get this one, which is 36,000. And then we can also, uh, you know, uh, get that stuff through. So there's a couple things that we're going to be trying to save up for. But unfortunately, in our situation currently, we are a little bit out of the uh, running on that. Now, like I told you guys about before, that the Super Chest event, uh, you can keep your eyes open for certain things and uh, things that you can get. And... Uh, um, one of these should have, uh, not honor medals, it's a shiny medals, but unfortunately I don't think I can find it right now. But, uh, yeah, so, you always want to try your best to get really good equipment as quickly as possible. But, you know, it's not the end of the world if you don't. And, you know, like I said, uh, for a, uh, for a defense commander... Having something like the Gift of Valkyrie or having something like Tanglang is a really good way to go because you have the damage reduction. And then you can use uh, critical and attack uh, or even health point gems to help boost your health points. And then you can uh, have the Aldebarans, which will make you very hard to... It will make you hard and difficult to deal with because that means you're going to be able to hit hard and also defend hard. And then... Uh, you can have the uh, Antares doing uh, doing the job because the Dodge will be able to really help you out once you get the uh, Cyan Shuttle. And then the Beetlejuice will also be able to be very useful because this also gives you damage reduction at level 40. So you can actually have solid equipment and be able to really give the enemy the what for. And uh, the Tang Lang gives you penetration uh, 30%. So... If you're gonna have a whole bunch of equipment, you can actually make give your commanders extreme levels of penetration, and that's gonna really help you out a lot on the battlefield. So, and you know, like I said, a solid penetration build for our dear, uh, um, uh, for our dear commander, um, Dragon Slayer. You guys can see that you know, twenty percent, twenty percent, you know. 30%, no, sorry, 20%, no, 30%, so that's 70%, that's really good, and, uh, if I remember right, uh, give me a quick second, isn't there, like, a piece of, uh, pants that you can buy that gives you penetration, no, there isn't, eh, I can't find it, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, you can actually, uh, you know, get some, some really cool stuff uh, set up for your commanders. And um, like I told you guys before, Rogers is going to be a while to get him to Menderbot level 30. But he is well on his way and he's going to be able to be more difficult to deal with. And then 
Orochi has level 30 absolute defense and that is why I'm going to be putting as much uh, leadership into him as possible because I want to get him to the same size as Rogers as possible and that's going to be able to help uh, help him uh, really really well and uh, I have actually put um, my level 40 AI1 on uh, Orochi to help even the playing field a bit and then I'm going to be putting level 10 Counter Striker on Rogers, so that way he can hurt enemies a little bit, uh, a lot like uh, because this will pretty much give Rogers some level of uh, corrosive armor via artificial intelligence Counter Striker, while this one will give uh, Orochi. A really strong shield based on the health points of his soldiers so you're going to be having two commanders which are very similar to each other and this will be able to help them uh, counteract the other one's weakness a little bit so that's really really cool that we have the equipment and the resources for both these commanders and I'm very happy that we can get a set up now I'm gonna to try to get myself a solid uh, a gift of the Valkyrie because I want to try to get two Gift of the Valkyries, uh, you know, a really, really good one. Uh, so that way uh, we will be able to defend. But um, as you guys can see, this one's 475% at level 40. And this one, the Meteor, if I remember right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this goes up by fives. So... So it would be a 250% at level 40. So that's still not half bad. And the resistance will also help us to be able to protect ourselves against some uh, nasty effects the enemy lands on us. So really the meteor is actually pretty darn good. And uh, it doesn't drop down your attack like the, uh, like the Gift of the Valkyrie does. So you lose a little bit of health points but you get resistance and... Uh, you know critical isn't exactly what's needed so you can help kind of offset that loss of the health points with more health point gems and uh yeah so it's really not the end of the world so if we have to stick with the meteor we can and that'll work out for us in the end and uh yeah um then all i have to do is just get ourselves another uh antares and another assault shield and we should be set because they don't have to be cloned uh, builds, but the Antares is usually the best thing you can get for the uh, uh, Defense Commander as well as the Beetlejuice. So it's actually some really, really cool stuff that we have coming on the horizon. And uh, like I said, now that I know what to look for, I can optimize my efforts into making my commanders much stronger. So this is definitely not the end of the world, and we are coming very close to the realm of being able to really, really way the, waylay the enemy. And the nice thing about this, guys, is that we have enough uh, hyperspace crystals to get ourselves to level 8 uh, hyperspace airship. So we are getting closer and closer to be, to be able to get the Cyan shuttle. So hopefully and soon we can get ourselves to that. And... Uh, like I said, guys, you know, if something else really good doesn't come up, then I will be purchasing, uh, yuck, uh, I will be purchasing, let's see, 200, let's see, so, you get 200 of these, so technically that'd be 400 of each resource, because you get tubed by them each, and then, or this one, that's 200 for 50, uh, you get 200 of each resource as it is already. I think this one might be better overall because 200 of, of each resource is only 50 while this one is 100 and you only get 200 of each resource. So I think maybe this is a way to go if we don't get anything substantial at the end of the uh, celebration event. Because if we can get this set up, we can get 600 times, uh, we can get 600 1.2 million food and parts. And 
uh, 30 magazine racks, which is 3,000 magazines, which is really, really good. And then uh, we can get 75,000 gold to help boost our efforts. And that's, that is obtainable, because that, that would only be 150. And then we can uh, maybe try to have enough for, you know, 200 uh, million uh, gas, and then trade in electricity for gas and help optimize our efforts there because I already have 164 uh, gas modules uh, boxes sorry 142 and then we have two times ten ones so yeah you know we have a lot of gas ready to go and we don't really need the electricity and we also have some of these bad boys as well already so we can actually get ourselves there almost by ourselves with that so that makes me very very happy with how close we are getting and uh like i said guys the unfortunate part is that uh we still have to get these upgraded as well and i don't have enough of the advanced airship dodge i mean the uh unlimited crystals yet but this one's nowhere near as expensive as the other one, but like it is. I'm focusing only on the uh, hyperspace airship first, because that will be get me closer to the Cyan shuttle as quickly as possible. And um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to try my best to play smart, because I want to try to keep myself with 10 million uh, meta crystal, so that way if anything happens, I can heal my soldiers and not be worried about using viable resources and uh yeah so stuff is looking up guys there's a lot of hope on the horizon and i'm very very happy about that and uh, i'm very very happy that you know i have 150 of these uh aether coins so uh and then like i said throughout these other events on my previous video we can get more of those and you know maybe if i have just a little bit of extra money i might be able to get that you know super pack this one right here but i have to make sure that my uh rent is paid first before i do anything of the sort so you know uh i don't know if anyone can send it send it a little money that i can spend on the game they can but if not i understand so maybe i'll just have to skip this event but this event is 14 minute and uh, 14 days long so hopefully we can you know get ourselves at least a little bit of a boost so you know hopefully something can work out but yeah you know i just you know it makes me happy being able to make these videos for you guys and hopefully this video has been informative as well as a cool little update and hopefully this can help you guys uh, grow your commanders better anyway uh this has been sabin De has been sabin dimitrov aka a dance for the astral wolf it has been an absolute pleasure having you guys here you guys stay awesome and always remember always remember god bless